Chapter 5 I fold my arms behind my head and lean back on the pillow. Take off your panties. She grins and bends forward, hooking her thumbs in her panties as she slowly slides them down over her hips. Her breasts are pushed together nicely in a transparent black bra. I think I'll let her leave that one on. Come here. She bends down on the bed and crawls toward me, her long blonde hair tracing up my legs as she slowly glides up my body. She positions herself above me, straddling me. This chick knows what she's doing. That can be both good and bad. I like a girl who knows how to fuck, but it also makes me wonder how many guys she's had to fuck in order to get so good. I reach over to the nightstand and grab a condom, handing it to her. Put it on, I command. She keeps her eyes trained on mine as she opens. It then brings her hands to my dick. I grab her wrists and shake my head. With your mouth. She grins and begins to lower her head when I hear the footsteps. Then, the bedroom doorknob makes an unsuccessful turn. Fuck. Essa, open the door. Sloan yells from outside the room. Fuck. I shove the girl onto her back. I stand up and grab my pants, pulling them on as the girl on the bed looks back and forth between the door. And me. I pick her clothes up off the floor and throw them toward the closet, pointing for her to go hide. She stands up and scoffs at my demand, shaking her head. If this bitch really thinks she's about to walk out of this room with Sloane. On the other side of the door, she's delusional. I grab her by the shoulders and shove her toward the closet. Just for a few minutes, I whisper. She starts to object, so I cover her. Mouth with mine. Whatever it takes to shut her up. I drop my hand between her legs, feeling her rely on me for support as her knees begin to buckle. Beneath her, needless to say, her anger dissolves with each stroke. She moans into my mouth and I push her farther into my closet, just as Sloane beats on the door for a second time. Two minutes, I whisper. I'll get rid of her. I kiss her again, then shut the closet door. I grab a towel, wipe my hands, then walk to the bedroom door and open it. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. Why are you asleep? Sloane says, shoving past me. She's heading toward the closet, so I grab her by the waist and pull her down onto the bed. I had class all day. I'm tired, I say, knowing the lie will ease her resolve. It does. She relaxes and curls into my chest. You actually went to class today? I nod and bring my hands to her face, wiping a stray strand of hair out of her eyes, then tucking it behind her ear. I roll her onto her back and hover. Over her, the distinct bruises on her arms catch my eye, and it reminds me that I never did apologize for that incident in the kitchen. I did go to class, I lie, running my fingers down her arm, over the marks. I left on her. I'm taking it seriously, Sloane. Everything I've promised you. I wanted to make it better. I bend down, kiss the fingertip bruises. I love you, babe, I say softly. I didn't mean to hurt you. Sometimes I forget how fragile your skin is. She presses her lips into a thin line and swallows. I can tell she's trying not to cry. This is going to take a little more work than I thought. God. Sloane, I don't deserve you. I swear to you, I'll make it better. I'll make it better for both of us, okay? I take both of her cheeks between the palms of my hands and I kiss her deeply. I know a girl likes it when a guy holds her face while he kisses her like kissing is his only intention. It's bullshit. 
If guys had their way, their hands would never venture above. The tits. I love you, I say again as I glide my hand down to her waist. My dick swells in my pants, getting a hell of a lot harder than the whore in the closet. Could get it. As many girls as I've been with, I can honestly say Sloane turns me on. More than any of them. I don't know what it is about her that I find so much. More attractive than the rest of them. Her tits aren't that big, and she's not even that curvy. I think it's her innocence. I like knowing I'm the first and only guy who's ever fucked her. I like knowing I'll be the only guy who'll ever fuck her. I slide my hand underneath her shirt and pull the lace of her bra down. Let me make it up to you, I whisper. I press my mouth to the thin layer of shirt covering her nipple, and I take it between my teeth. She moans and arches her back, but pushes against my chest. Asa, I just left the gym. I'm all sweaty. Let me take a shower first. I release her nipple from my mouth and attempt to change her mind by running my hand between her legs, rubbing at the denim of her jeans. You're perfect, I say, looking at the sweet, sweaty skin of her neck. She stiffens, so I increase the pressure of my hand. Relax, I whisper. She fights it, but I can feel her slowly melting against my hand. I let the subtle movement of her hips guide my hand to the right spot. I work her up harder and harder until she's on the verge of falling apart beneath my fingertips. She gives in to my coercion and relaxes her arms above her head. I sit up on my knees and unbutton her pants, easing them down her hips far enough to give me access. I slip my fingers underneath the edge of her panties and ease. Two of them inside of her. She moans and grasps at the sheets, balling them up in knots between her white-knuckled fists. I slowly ease my fingers in and out of her, teasing her clit with the pad of my thumb. I rake my eyes over her body as I build up speed with my hand. As soon as I feel the shutters rising up from her, I cover her mouth with mine and kiss her hard. She lets out a scream that's completely muffled by my mouth. God, I love it when she screams into my mouth. Her breath slides down my throat in labored waves, mixing with mine. I continue rubbing her until she stiffens beneath me and tries to pull my hand away. I slip my hand out of her panties, pulling them back into position. You can go shower now. I kiss her again, and she grabs my face, then pushes me onto my back and rolls on top of me. What about you? She asks, reaching down to unzip my pants. I grab her hand and pull it away. I owed you one, I say. Now, go. Shower. We're going out tonight. She smiles. Like on a date? Not like a date. It is a date. She grins and hops off of me, heading toward the door. Lock it on your way out, I say. She pauses and turns around. Why? I grab the bulge in my pants. I need to finish what you started. She crinkles up her nose and rolls her eyes, but she locks the door behind her. I jump up and check the lock, then turn around, just as whatever her names comes barging out of the closet. She points her finger at me and practically spits venom when she speaks. You sick fuck. I grab the hand that's pointing in my face and spin it around, wrapping her arm behind her back. I lean into her ear and press my heart on against her stomach. Hey, hey, I say quietly, attempting to calm her down. I run my fingers down her cheek and lightly kiss her lips. I saved the best part for 
You. I press her down onto the bed, ass first. I drop my pants and kick them. Off, then reach for the condom and slide it on. The girl lies back on the bed and spreads her legs open. Fucking whore. I kneel down on the bed and position myself between her legs. I slide my hands underneath her back and bring them up from behind, gripping her. Shoulders with a firm hold. I wait silently and listen for the water to start. Running across the hall, when the shower starts up, I grip her tighter and slam. Into her so hard, she screams. I immediately put my hand over her mouth and continue slamming against her. I can't tell if she's screaming into my hand. Because she likes it, or because I'm fucking her so hard it hurts. The fact that I can't tell the difference turns me on even more. It doesn't take me long at all. Knowing I just made Sloane scream in this same spot less than two minutes ago is enough to make me finish without even having my dick balls deep in some whore. I squeeze my eyes shut and slam into her one last time, holding my position for several seconds while her Moans are still being suppressed by my hand. I drop onto my elbows and take one of her nipples in my mouth, sucking and pulling on it until every last bite of me is released. I relax against the girl's chest and pull out. She whimpers, squeezing her thighs against my hips, wanting more. The thought of making two girls Climax beneath my fingertips just minutes apart is more than even I have ever accomplished. I toss the condom into the trash, then lie down beside her. I push her thighs apart, then shove two fingers deep inside her, watching as her eyes roll back in her head. I press my cheek against hers and ease my fingers in and out. You like, like this. I whisper in her ear. She moans and breathes a yes, so I force a third. Finger inside her, feeling her stretch around my hand. She breathes a much louder yes this time. I shove the fourth finger inside her, watching as she grimaces in pain. I rub my thumb over her clit and cup my fingers upward, finding the exact spot. That sends her into a tailspin. You like it when I fuck you with my hand? She becomes louder, moaning and grunting and yelling my name. I have to cover her goddamn mouth again with my free hand. I pull back and look her in the eyes. Did you watch me fuck my girlfriend with this hand? Did that turn you on? Her eyes grow wide and she doesn't respond. So I ask her again. Did it? I say, pausing the movement of my hand, causing her to whimper. I know how close she is to releasing, so I use her desperation to my advantage. Tell me you liked it. She moans, pressing herself against my hand, silently begging me to keep going. Taste her, I say, tracing my wet fingers along her bottom lip. She turns her face to the side, not wanting to take my fingers in her mouth. My dick is hard again, so I position myself on top of her. The need, grown between her legs, makes her desperate. She tilts her face back toward me, just like I knew she would, and reluctantly opens her mouth. I grab her jaw with my other hand and force her mouth open wider, shoving two of my Fingers inside. Suck, I demand. She closes her lips over my fingers and sucks them. Does she taste good? I ask, rubbing myself against her faster and harder, bringing her right to the edge with me. She moans and nods her head, grabbing my wrist with her hand, taking it. Turns sucking each of my fingers down to the knuckles. The feel of her tongue Sliding up and down my fingers nearly makes me bust it all over her. Fuck, I groan. I pull.
pull my hand out of her mouth. Let me taste, I say. I kiss her, licking the sweet aftertaste of both of them. off of her tongue, she arches her back, and it doesn't take her long. Before she's writhing beneath me, I pull back from her mouth and continue to rub against her. When she finally starts to reach her peak, I can feel the scream wanting to escape her lips, so I do to her what I just did to Sloane. I cover her mouth with mine and let her scream her little heart out, while she shudders and shakes beneath me. I close my eyes and groan as I lift up slightly and press my dick against the girl's stomach. Her. When she's finally calm beneath me, I roll off of her and hand her a shirt. From the floor to clean up with. Get dressed, I say. I have a date.